Let's hit the ice now with an update on the University of Providence hockey team. The Argos program is just five years old, but saw a lot of success under their first year head coach, Jeff Heimel. Uh, however, after Heimel resigned last April, Providence struggled to find a new successor, which left the future of the program in jeopardy. Tonight, Richard Tiemann tells us how naming a last second coach helped the Argos save some of their season and keep the program intact. You wouldn't know it by their performance or enthusiasm, but the Argos men's hockey team was put together last minute, not only to save the season, but to avoid long-term consequences for the program's future. A future that new head coach Tommaso DeAngelis was able to save as time expired and from the other side of the country. Yeah, I was in Annapolis, Maryland. Um, so November, December was out. That part of the season was lost totally. So. When I get hired officially November 1st, I literally had two months uh, to get out here. I was due out here January 5th. So in that time period, I had two months to put the team back together, which I did. We have 14 players, uh, which is great. That deadline came a day before we were due to leave for our first game in Missoula. And uh, uh, the deadline with the ACHA was that Thursday, and it kind of just all worked out perfect. Sounds like a real power play of fate for the Argos and their hockey program. As for the seniors whose eligibility was on the line, Captain Cooper Page couldn't have been happier to hear the news and have one more chance to hit the ice for Providence. They all called us in the summer in constant communication. We, did, we were really unsure if we were going to have a, have a team this season. And uh, we were part of the interview process. And when we got the news that Tommaso was joining our team, we were super thrilled. Because as a senior, that's all I could really ever ask for was one last, one last season, even though it's a little bit makeshift. I think mean, it's important to me, my teammates, the school, we've had a successful program for five years now and to carry on the legacy for many years to come, to get to live out my, live out my last year as a senior, it's, it's truly a dream come true and I'm very grateful for everyone that put work into making sure we had a season because there's a lot of the behind the scenes that happened to get me to this game today. A lot of work behind the scenes just to play four games doesn't seem like a fair trade. But luckily for the Argos, Tommaso knew what was at stake for the program and was up for the challenge. The school definitely had to have the season because with the ACHA you can get relegated down in Division Three, and then that creates a whole bunch of problems for the school itself, eligibility issues, uh, budget issues, all, I mean all kinds of stuff. This is definitely one of the biggest challenges I faced, uh, kind of everyone's saying we overcame it, which I yeah, definitely overcame it. The Argos went 3-1 and one on their shortened season and are looking forward to having a full one come November. From Great Falls, Richard Tiemann, SWX. All right, thanks.